Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this Two Minute Tuesday, I'm gonna show you how to copy a query from one PBIX file to another PBIX file. All right, so why are you showing this, Patrick? We already know this. Well, I was working with someone and they absolutely didn't know this. And so I decided to do a video to show you how show you all the possibilities and all the things that you could do with copying how you with copying one query from one PBIX file to another PBIX file. All right. So I was working with someone and they showed wait, 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 wait. You guys know what I like to do since it's a two minute Tuesday. Instead of all this talking, let's do what? Let's head over to my laptop. All right. So this is what he did. He said, Patrick. We need to copy a few of these. And he did this, he right click and he went to advanced editor. And I'm like, did you see that copy there? He's like, no, 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 Patrick, calm down, calm down, buddy. So he did that, copy that text. Then he went back over to him like, wait, no, don't do it. He's like, I got this, Patrick. He said, new blank query. I'm like, please stop, stop now. He's like, Patrick, I got it. So we go here, advanced editor, and he pasted it and he clicked done. So he was like, yep, that's how you do it. And I was like, no, 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 my friend. He was like, no, I gotta do more. I was like, stop, enough's enough. Let me show you the appropriate way, the right way to do this. Like, okay, so he finally sat back and he let me take the wheels. Let me show you what I did. And so I'm gonna I say, let's delete this. So we deleted this. And then we went back over to the query editor. I was like, which ones do you need to copy? He's like, I need to copy product, product category and geography. I'm like, all right, click geography, hold down control. Click product, click product category. He did that. I said, now choose copy. He was like, what are you doing? I was like, calm down, calm down. All right, and we went to the other, the new PBIX file. I said, now right click and paste. Boom, he looked at me and he was like, what the French toast did you just do? I'm like, yeah, like I always say I'm not lazy, just really efficient, just a couple of clicks. Adam and I talk about this all the time. It's just about learning the clicks and that's a click that everyone should know. And so my concern was, are we creating a data silo? And he was like, no, 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 I don't need everything. All right, we're doing some testing. I'm trying to prove something out and I want to put this in another file. I was like, okay, okay, all right, all right. And I said, but there's so much more you can do with this. Let me show you. So I said, you can also copy a group. And so he's like, what do you mean? I was like, so you see these little folders, that's how all these are grouped together. So if I wanted just these two right here, I can right click on that group, choose copy, head back over to the new PBIX file, right click and click paste, and it brings everything in that group just like that. He was like, oh my God, this is great. I was like, but wait, I'm not done yet, but wait, I'm not done. I know that subcategory depends on this parameter, right? So do I need to copy both? I was like, nope. Anything, if I copy this query, anything that it depends on, guess what's gonna happen? Guess what's gonna happen? It's gonna bring it along with it. Boom, just like that, just like that. It just works, it's so intuitive and it's just so fast and it just works. And guess what? If you're using Power Query inside of Excel, that works too. But that's not the best part of it. So I was doing some stuff and I ran into it. I couldn't find the error. I was looking through everything. I had all these queries and I had an error in one of them. Whenever I tried to load, I was like, oh, I can't find this error. And so I was talking to Chris Webb. Thanks for this little tip, Chris Webb. And he was like, Patrick, let me show you something. Let me show you something. I was like, all right, show me, Chris. So we went back to my original file. Let's say this is my original file. We clicked on the very top item in my queries. We held down shift and went all the way to the bottom that selected everything right click and we chose copy. And he said, open up your favorite text editor. So I did, notepad. He said, now paste it. I paste it and in this case, I had spelled source wrong somewhere. He said, now all you need to do is press go to the top, press control F and find, I had spelled source S-O-U-C-E, right? And we found it and then I was able to fix every, fix my error and get my data loaded. What? That's bananas. That's great. It's so easy. Thanks, Chris Webb, for that. All right, what do you guys think? Are you doing this? If not, you should definitely be doing it, right? Do you have any questions, comments? You know what to do. Let's continue the conversation where? In the comments below. 